Hi guys, last night I was looking through my isopod breeding pens and discovered that I was completely out of zebras and I wasn't going to buy any more because I can't find anywhere that sells them at a sensible price. Now, I also found that I was down to about my last 10 Aniscus Acellus, which is one of my absolute favourites for putting in uh, things such as these enclosures here for the mantis. There's a lot of mantis won't bother with them because they're so large and chunky and uh, very, very armoured. So I decided I'm going to get up this morning and get my ass out into the woods and see if I can do something about it. And here's how it went. Oh, okay. Here it is. Ridiculously early Sunday morning. And I'm in the woods. A better place to be. I'm looking for Aniscus acellus which is the shiny woodlouse or common isopod and uh, we're a better place to start. See you in a bit. I think we found some. So I close a look. Check this guy out. There's a bunch of them on there. Under this side is the uh, piece of wood. Oh, off he goes. Well, here he is. There's a few more here. Smaller ones. And it's exactly what I'm looking for. Let's collect them. Well, I've been wandering around for about an hour now. I've got about 30. I'm starting to wonder if these guys are as common as the IUCN makes them out to be. So what I'm going to do is have a look in a nice little wooded area that's close to the road, as you can probably hear, and uh, see if we can find any more. Who knows? Plenty of fallen logs here, and they're full of moss. This is quite nice. So one would expect that these have been here quite some time. So underneath them, I would hope to find, well, something, even if it's only a millipede. Let's have a look. What's under these, if anything? Oh, that's well stuck in here. Yeah. yeah, there they are, there they are. There's some here. I'm going to get that's them. Something else I found. That is a mint beetle. What the hell it's doing up here, I don't know. But that's where it is. It looks like I hit the mother load. There must have been... 200 in here. Look here, they are. Look at them. So we can catch one. At least 200 of these, if not more, under one log. That was rotting. How's that? Christmas. One, two, three logs or so. Later, I pulled apart. I must have got two to three hundred of the shiny woodlouse, so, and a few millipedes as a bonus. I'm gonna get them home, I'll have a closer look at them. Just looking around here, it's absolute Christmas. If I ever need any more, I'll just nip down here and grab some more. I'm very surprised I didn't find any more species, but never mind. The one I came for, the one I found. Well, I hope this light's okay, but if it isn't, tough, that's all I've got. Uh, and this is what I came back with. And there's literally loads of the things in here. Absolutely crawling with them. There's, there's so many of them. Under every bit of leaf and they yeah, like all them everywhere. There's just hundreds of them all in here. This is just leaf litter I, I've... Uh, Grabbed off the floor in the woods. I can, I can grab a chunk of that. Sure, there'll be a bunch in there. No, it'll make me a liar. Thought it would. Typical. Never work with animals or children, they say. Now I know why. Never do what you want, do they? Right. Oh, there's one. Oh, look. But there is quite a lot in here. There's, there's, I counted about 150 and I stopped counting and just started breaking up. A bit of wood and over the top of here. I got some millipedes as well. I don't know where they went. I'll find them eventually. 
Now I'm going to pop those in my breeding pen, which is uh, pretty simple, to be honest with you. Let me just move this camera up a little bit. I'm afraid the neighbours are, I don't know if you can hear that, but they're uh, building a new part of their house and they're making a racket because they've decided to do it now. Um, this is just on this side, I've got uh, some moss, uh, different moss, it's just random, whatever I had left over. And there's loads of uh, dry wood like this one. Nice, rotting, damp wood that they, they seem to love. And some uh, some bark, there's one. I think I'm not disturbing them too much, but these are, these guys won't matter because they're going to have a, a new new place to live anyway. Um, and inside here, I've, I've just got bits of leaf litter, which I add from time to time for them to eat. And also some um, cuttlefish bone, which they do seem to appreciate. I say when I put I put one in, and I'll leave it there for a week, when I'm fill up on it. Uh, when it gets small enough, I'll actually grind it down and pound it and, and, and put it in with the food. Um, I also feed them uh, fresh veg and fruit from time to time, which they again appreciate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all these, uh, these new guys, put them in here, uh, and uh, give us a spray, I think, and then ignore it after feeding them for a, a week or two and see what we've got. So I should imagine a lot of these guys that I picked up are going to be gravid. I'm going to have a look. Any females here? Yeah, I'm going to hurt you. Go on. Yep, that's a male. Are you a female? Please be a female. Love it. No, nope, another male. Right, I'm not getting any luck here, am I? And so is that one. So yeah, it looks like I've only collected males, but I'm sure there's some females in there and I hope they grab it. And uh, won't be long before I have uh, a new breeding colony that I can start throwing into my terrariums, um, etc. Uh, I hope this was uh, of some use, or at least you enjoyed it for entertainment value. And uh, if you did, give us a subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time. Adios.